All right, thanks for joining me tonight, guys. I'm gonna show you how to do an overhead valve adjustment on a mechanical diesel engine. And we are using the maybe infamous uh, TS-115A I just bought. You can see, I didn't wanna make you sit through all the boring stuff. I've already taken out the air filter canister because I needed to do that to get in here. And I've taken off the valve covers all the way down and I've brought cylinder number one to a neutral position. Now what that means is, let me walk around here because it's a little easier to see from this side. But what that means is both of these valves are closed right now. If you watch these little arms, see it wiggle? That means both valves are closed. In the book for this tractor, it describes the method to do this very well. I was actually pretty impressed with New Holland on this one because they they taught us this in tech school, but I haven't really heard a whole lot of people talk about it after that. There is a quick way to adjust valves on a straight six engine where you don't have to bring every single cylinder around. And the way you do it is you bring number one to center and you adjust your intake and your exhaust on number one. Before you move the engine, you adjust your intake on number two and number four, and you adjust your exhaust on number three and number five. What you do then is turn the crankshaft around and bring uh, number six to top dead center where both valves are in neutral, unlike now. And then you adjust both valves on number six you adjust the exhaust on number two and the exhaust on number four, the intake on three and intake on five. That should be pretty standard for all mechanical diesels, but, uh, or all straight six diesels, I should say, but double check that in a factory service manual before you go, uh, before you go trying to use that method because you could, damage your valves and damage lots of other expensive things. All right, so our intake valves should adjust to 0.25 millimeter. So we're going to start with cylinder one intake. Feels pretty good. Now we're going to check cylinder two intake. This can be tricky to get in here. They make angled feeler gauges, which are nice for this too. That's tight. Where'd the wrench go? There it is. So now we're gonna come in and loosen cylinder two. Well, the side of the wrench is too thick. Come in, loosen the lock nut. Lock nut. There you go. Take our Allen wrench and back it off. Jeez. There we go. And you want to feel just a slight drag. Hold your Allen wrench and tighten your lock nut. Then once you're happy that the lock nut is tight, we're going to check that adjustment again just to make sure it didn't slip while we were fastening everything down. That still feels pretty good. Now we're going to adjust the exhaust valves on numbers one, three, and five. And exhaust valve clearance on this tractor is 0.51 millimeter. So number five exhaust. Is a little loose. Golly. Too tight. 
height right there. I hope my hand is not blocking the entirety of this, but I think you guys get the idea. Let's go around and bring the uh, number six in uh, cylinder up to a neutral position. Come back around here to cylinder number six. You can see it is at zero lash. So let's start, since I've already got the feeler gauge out for it, with our exhaust valves on cylinders six, four, and two. Valves are adjusted, everything's back together, air filter's back in, valve covers are back on. Alright, so the valves are adjusted. As you can see, that wasn't our whole problem, but I think we all kind of knew that. Uh, it was good maintenance to do anyway, a couple of them were pretty far out of whack, so glad to have that straightened out. The next step is going to be to do a leak down test on this engine and see if it's losing compression, how much and where. So that'll be in a separate video. So if you're not subscribed, reach up there, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell icon right beside it so you get notified when I uh, when I upload a video and hit that thumbs up button. Hit like if you enjoyed this or maybe learned something. Uh, I'll do a video on the leak down test, show you how that goes. And, yeah, whatever comes next, you'll get to see it. So, more later.